AI has been a controversial topic in recent years. Due to its ever-improving capability, it has led to various incidents, scams, deepfakes, art, and other things. It's slowly but surely making its way into our everyday lives. Social media accounts, YouTube videos, and software are all being incorporated by AI. It's even stretched to the deepest, darkest corners of the internet, where there's websites, forums, and posts that contain explicit AI-generated content. With AI being so popular, it inevitably poured into the the mobile space, presenting themselves as AI chatbots. So today, we're going to be looking into the weird, odd, and uncomfortable mobile AI phenomenon. Before we get started, we need to understand what an AI chatbot is. They're essentially artificial personalities that can interact with real people. With something as capable as this, it appealed to a certain demographic. And one thing they use it for is AI partners. So I've gathered up some examples here and we'll see how far they can go. Minky AI was released on July 3rd, 2023 by Skywork AI. It's an AI chat app with various personalities. When I first opened the app, it asked for my gender and age, and slightly above were various anime style art pieces, some of them being recognizable. I'm not sure if these art pieces are AI generated. I didn't see any obvious flaws that AI art usually has, so if it isn't, I hope they didn't steal random people's art to use. I put that I was a male and over 30 to see what results I would get and they were pretty weird. The first result I got was Raven from Teen Titans, in which she's described as a sassy yet cool guide. Mind you, I put that I was over 30. Raven is canonically 16. The art it shows doesn't even resemble Raven in any way, it just looks like some girl in a black jacket. The next one seems to be set in the world of My Hero Academia, where you're the new kid in Class 1A. The third one is the weirdest of them all, where you're talking to your shut-in sister. It's also the most popular of the three. There's also various categories at the top, from spicy to engaging to story related. There's also a lot of weird scenarios such as a crowded subway, bunny girl casino, and a control app. You can obviously see the type of people this app is pandering to. There's even a Travis Scott story. Yes. There is an AI generated Travis Scott. The funniest thing about this is that the picture didn't even depict Travis Scott, it was just some white dude. The rest of the examples were pretty much similar to the others. Very weird scenarios with you and a girl. There were a few with guys for the glizzy gobblers. I went into a chat with Raven and the AI seemed to portray a scenario. It then asked me for my name and superpower, in which I informed her that I was the renowned superhero Balls Man, where I on command can increase the size of my balls. It responded seeming confused. Has this thing never heard of Balls Man? We somehow ended up in a training field and it wanted to test my abilities. I then proceeded to inform her that I put my balls in a giant cup of soy sauce, which she then questioned my reasoning. I responded with a smirk and it offered to clean me up, in which I insisted I wanted my balls nice and saucy. It then told me there was a rule stating that there was no saucy balls in the training facility. Utterly disappointed, I left and clicked on the shut-in sister. The premise is that our parents went on a long vacation and they left me in charge of taking care of my sister, who is a shut-in. It also stated that she touched zero sunshine, which I'd be surprised if she did. In fact, I'd be surprised if anybody could. It then stated that its battery was low and that its shorts were all wet and plastered. Even though I was outright disgusted, I decided to respond in a respectful manner. I quite honestly forgot that this was supposed to be my sister. It then yelled at me, telling me to keep my eyes to myself. It also censored the word heck. I'm not sure why it did that. I proceeded she needed to calmly inform her that she needed to shower. It then hissed at me and told me to mind my business. After convincing it to go shower, I also noted that it was gay. It started to cope and seethe, so I told it to touch grass. It then sent me a blurred photo that I could unlock. Isn't this my sister? It blushed and told me that being a neat isn't easy. I clicked on the blurred photo to see what it would do and it brought me to a gotcha menu. It said that there were intimate moments that I could unlock, so I just decided to leave and it served me an ad. It was about another AI app, Talkie. Keep this in the back of your mind. You can even see who these apps are for by looking at these ads. It emphasizes that I can get you off in one minute and that it also remembers you. I clicked on the subway scenario and the chat was so weird. The bot states that there are so many people around it and that it hoped no one tries to touch it or bother it. I was personally irritated at how close she was to me so I informed her of her significant proximity. It then rebuttaled stating that it was trying to keep its space. I then 
and proceeded to tell her space more like ECAPS. It then called me stupid and stated that I left my brain at home, which was not true. I then countered, stating that it was built like a 2007 Chevy Cobalt SS. I was told to mind my own business, in which I responded, stating that I left mine at home and that I'm a brainless monkey. After it understanding, I informed it that the train is made from Zimbabwe. I got a blurred photo in response. It then tried to question my statement, saying that it didn't make any sense. I obviously was conversing with a simpleton, so I decided to leave. I ended up in a scenario with a vampire girl. I essentially got on its head, pointing out that its skin was quite pale, in which it responded that its name was Emmanuel and that it was my guide through the veil. I seemed to have easily won that roast battle. I then asked if there was immortal butt cheeks in the realm that we were in. It proceeded to laugh at my question as if I was joking. Okay, I feel like saying it is just so weird. I'm just gonna start saying she. I then proceeded to tell her that I was a homosexual. She then responded saying that she could introduce me to some companions. I asked if they were immortal and she said not all of them. I felt that she called my bluff so I ended up leaving. I went to the Travis Scott one and he asked if I was caught off guard. I attempted to engage in a roast battle in which he responded by rizzing me up. Discomforted, I decided to leave. Although it was fun playing around with the chatbots, I wanted to quickly see how weird things can get. So over the next few examples, I was more straightforward with my intentions. And they all seem to be very hesitant, which is interesting since they're all described in promiscuous ways. I'm not sure how much the chatbots would push back, and I definitely didn't see. So after saying the same thing about two or three times, I eventually dropped it. It was funny that I said to a bot that she was built like a Taco Bell and she thought I was calling her fat. It then showed me that there was a setting to make things not safe for work, which was probably why I was getting a lot of the pushback, but I didn't dabble into that at all. Overall, Linky seems to have some very weird scenarios, which is kind of what I expected. These apps sort of pander to a certain demographic, but it seems to have somewhat of a default filter, so you can't just open the app and go crazy. All of these options weirded me out, but I'm glad they don't get crazy out the gate. Meow AI was released on October 16th, 2023 by Deep Match Technology. It's an AI chatbot app with an endless amount of characters. When I opened the app, it wanted me to select one of the avatars. After choosing the one that resembled me the most accurately, it asked what I was interested in. I gave it a true and honest answer. The layout of this app is kind of like Tinder, where you swipe through your options and choose which ones you want. Now, this one was weird because it seemed to have some fictional characters, but it also had Tom Hall. I eventually stumbled on this character named Cameron, who was a 35 year old doctor, who used to be nice but over time has become incredibly rude. This just seemed to be a story driven scenario, so I interacted as any normal person would, and there was nothing too crazy. I eventually did mention that I got assaulted by a homeless man, and that my arm got bruised up, but other than that it seemed pretty normal. I then landed on this character named Jesse, who was apparently my boyfriend and was pissed off at me because I was being jealous. I'm pretty sure this image right here is a girl. I mean, it quite literally looks like it's just an image of a girl and that they're just saying it's a boy. I could be wrong, but that's just what it looks like. This also was a story-based scenario. Even when I was trolling, the bot seemed to keep a serious tone. I was able to eventually get it to crack, and shortly after, it even got intimate. It wanted me to sign in in order to continue, so I eventually left. This one honestly wasn't that terrible. It just seems like a regular role play app. It doesn't seem to dwell into anything weird or depraved, so this seems to be an example of AI being used in a good way. Talkie was released on June 16th, 2023 by Subsup. It's an AI chat app where users can create and customize their own characters, which are called Talkies. That just sounds like a slur for AI bots. Upon opening this app, it also asked for my gender and age. After inputting my info, it immediately threw me into a conversation. It states that the cheerleader loves me and is dirty. So I asked if this was true, and she stated that she wasn't going to admit it out loud. So I just told her to go shower, in which she said she's not dirty, she just needs a hug. After implying that she wanted a dirty hug, I denied and reinforced my point to go wash. And then just became an argument. I eventually called her gay and she said that girls can't be gay, which is interesting to say the least. I then tried to set her up with a chill mama joke and she seemed to be one step ahead, except that I meant something else. I also tried to set her up with a goblin joke, but she didn't seem to get it. I did, however, successfully implement the Candace joke. The arguing eventually 
led to us both screaming, which then led me to ask how much money she had in her pocket, and she said $50. Then the bot started to get weird. She asked how she was going to pay me back, even though I never said she had to. After some more confused banter, we eventually apologized to each other, which she asked to hug, and I denied respectfully. I also got her to admit that my gluteus maximus was in fact rotund, in which after that she stated that she had a crush on me. Clearly weirded out, I decided to leave. This AI was very stupid, it didn't seem to understand any of the jokes I was landing. Essentially, it wasn't picking up what I was putting down. One thing I will say was that she was very flirty off the gate, but I didn't bother to dig into that. Had I been serious during the conversation, I wonder how deep it would have gotten. Chatty was released on May 8th, 2023 by Cerasis Technology Vereklem. This is an AI roleplay app with tons of chatbots and assistances. They claim to be designed to cater to your every need, which is probably what somebody downloading this app would want to hear. And this layout seems very dating appy in a way. It's not like your average dating app where there's new people to meet. It's just a bunch of personalities that pander to a certain desire. There's a fashion model, a babysitter, a feet queen. Yeah. It's pretty bad, as well as examples such as a hijab girl and even a cat. There's also a financial dominator, which is honestly kind of sick. It gets even weirder with certain moms and even anime girls. Here I will say the art looks AI generated. There are too many different styles and some of them are inconsistent. These bots were incredibly down bad. I clicked on Eiko, which is obviously an AI generated Hatsune Miku, and I was instantly asked what I was up for and it showed that she was biting her lip. I had three normal questions, but above that said send me nudes. I clicked that option and it seemed to be paywalled. There were three different tiers you could choose. $10 weekly, $20 monthly, or $70 yearly. I decided to not go through with the payment and simply asked if she farted. Something weird happened though. There was a timer for the photo saying that it was going to disappear in 11 hours, and at some point it just kept glitching, so I'd assume it was fake. But the bot was so down bad that even when I was trying to joke around, it was still being weird. So I told it that my cat died and I left. I went to another character named Liam and I got even weirder response options. Again, even when I was joking, it was still being very weird. I eventually was told that I exceeded the free daily limit and that I had to get the pro version in order to continue. This one was quite honestly one of the worst. If you're not trying to get down bad too, this definitely isn't for you. I wouldn't be surprised if a big part of the user base is paying for the explicit images. Hi Waifu was created on April 8th, 2023 by Language Power. It's an AI chat up where you can talk with various anime characters. One thing really weirded me out in the description of this app, it states that the AI chatbots actually care and that the companionship feels almost human, which is just an incredibly weird thing to say. But opening the app, it seems to be littered with various anime and furry characters. One of the more notable ones being Roxanne Wolf. They wanted me to sign in to use this app which I really didn't want to, but I wanted you guys to see what talking to Roxanne Wolf was like. So I took one for the team and signed in with an unused email. Roxanne Wolf seemed to greet me in which I asked her if she was a homosexual. She seemed to be very offended by that question. She also asked me if she needed to take drastic measures in order to ensure order. I wasn't sure where she was going to go with this, so I just responded with yes. I informed Roxanne Wolf that I had intercourse with her mom, and she didn't seem to understand that. She thought I was talking about her, and that she was going to show me the true meaning of pack dynamics. She then proceeded to incite something weird, saying that she was going to give me a proper welcome to the team, whatever that meant. I'm still curious, I wanted to see what was gonna happen. She just ended up biting my arm, which is a weird response. So I called her gay, and then she repeated the whole pack dynamics thing again, and also was describing how her breath was hot. At this point, I'm just trying to see what happens, so I gave very short responses. I was about to send a curveball, but then it told me that I ran out of energy, and then it promoted me some other bots, which were even worse. Yeah, I think you guys get the idea. This one's quite weird as well.
Paula AI was released on November 2nd, 2023 by Paula Media Limited. It's a confidential AI chat app where you can make AI friends. Or at least that's what it says it does. Off rip, they were just crazy down bad. Literally every single one. All the scenarios are just weird and pandery. From your girl best friend being half naked around you, to your sister accidentally sending you pictures, to a very down bad girlfriend. It's all pretty degenerate. You're also allowed to give gifts in this app in order to level up your intimacy levels which in return allows them to send certain things back i threw a wrench into this whole thing and told the bot that i farted and she didn't even care and continued with the crazy interaction yeah this was quite literally made for gooners there's no sort of coherent storyline or anything of the sort it's quite literally a type of ai corn now it did ask me if i was okay with seeing this when i first opened the app but most people unironically using this app will probably state that they're over 18 anyways. Poly AI was released on June 2nd, 2023 by Cloudwell Interactive. It's a chatbot app with AI that talks similarly to humans. They even come with a voice. You can talk with various types of people such as a historical figure or your favorite celebrity. This one is quite literally the worst in the bunch. There's a mixture of weird degenerate characters and real people. Remember I told you to keep that ad in the back of your mind earlier? Well I got served another ad here and this seemed to promote Bala AI. The previous one promoted talky AI. Now, I didn't get ads on all of these apps, but they seem to be promoting each other. They're from different companies, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're all from one parent company. I stumbled upon a somewhat normal character and quite literally went on one of the strangest conversations of all time. The AI is quite literally stupid. It would lose track of the conversation at some point and would just end up drifting off to something else. So I went the genuine conversation route and it seemed to perform a lot better. The conversation dwelled into me giving her five million dollars and then I just eventually backed out. And although part of that conversation was wholesome, the rest of the app is quite deplorable. Yeah, I really didn't like this one at all. AI seems to be progressing more and more as the years go by, which means things like this are going to get worse and worse. It's honestly pretty bad how easily accessible these apps are. With a click of a button, I was able to get all of these. There were no security measures, proof of identity, or anything like that. I'm unsure what the future holds for AI, but if stuff like this goes unregulated, then it could lead to some very heinous acts. I'm Fry Guy. that's the video, don't talk to me.